Hello and welcome inside another edition of the FerrisStateBulldogs.com Hockey Series Preview for this week's matchup between your Bulldog Hockey Squad and the University of Michigan Wolverines. My name is Dominic Hennig alongside my partner Dan Kowalski. Let's take a look back as the Bulldogs swept the Bowling Green State Falcons last weekend. Yeah, on Friday, January 7th and scene, the Fair State Bulldogs skate into Bowling Green and come out with a 4-1 victory. Trailing 1-0 entering the third period, the Bulldogs recorded four unanswered goals and just really took over play and dominated the third period and walked out with a 4-1 win. Scoring in that game, Kyle Bonus netted two goals and really played an outstanding game. Matthew Kersinger also tallied a goal. Todd Pocock, senior forward, picked up the game winner. Pat Nagel ended up the game with 16 saves. Ferris State Hockey head coach Bob Daniels recorded his 300th collegiate victory that night as well and had this to say in his post-game press conference after the game. Lastly, uh, congratulations on uh, career victory number 300 tonight. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to get it. It's just, you know, it's, uh, it says nothing more than I've been around a long time, I think. But thanks. Going into Saturday's game, the Bulldogs tried to complete the series sweep of the Falcons, and they did just that, walking out of Bowling Green with a 3-1 victory to complete the sweep. Trailing 1-0 in the first period, senior captain Zach Redden struck right back to tie the game at one apiece. Entering the third period, he was still deadlocked at one until Travis Ouellette picked up the game winner. Adding an empty netter was Jordy Johnson to seal the deal. Pat Nagel wound up that game with also 16 saves, so two wins on the weekend for Fair State and two wins on the weekend for Pat Nagel. Well, that was Bowling Green, Dan. That's the quick series sweep. On to the next series. We're looking towards the University of Michigan Wolverines. The Bulldogs have played the Wolverines already twice this season. Fair State hosted Michigan that first night. The Bulldogs are leading the entire game uh, over the Wolverines 2-1 to one throughout the game. But with 13 seconds left, Michigan forward David Wolberg tied the game at two apiece. Fair State ended up taking the win, however, in a shootout. The following night, the Bulldogs traveled to Ann Arbor for the second game of the home and home series and dropped a close 3 2 decision to split the series. Yeah, what a tough one that was. 3 2 played a great road game at Yost, which you and I both know is one of the toughest buildings to play in in all of college hockey. Just a bad break. Carl Hagelin threw a puck on net. Brett Weiss opened just very good position. Nothing he could do, just a bad bounce off his skate. Hey, that's hockey for you, so that's how that one turned out. Bulldog hockey forward Kyle Bonus had a goal that night in Ann Arbor at Yost Ice Arena in the 3-2 loss of the Michigan Wolverines. But he had two Friday night versus Bowling Green. We're looking to see what he's going to do this weekend versus the Michigan Wolverines. And we have him on the line right now. So Kyle, it was your second time at Yost Ice Arena visiting as a sophomore. You were the first person to put the Bulldogs on the board. How did that feel to get that goal at Ann Arbor? Oh, I mean, it was, it was pretty incredible. I mean, being there the first time, you get to see the environment. You get to see what it's like. Everyone always talks about how cool it is to play at Yost Arena. And, uh, you know, it was, it was just really exciting. My parents got to come down. And I remember growing up as a kid, always watching Michigan on TV and just thinking, you know, maybe one day it would be great just to play there and to, to score a goal in front of my friends and my family. It was, it was pretty special. Two more goals this weekend against Bowling Green. You're now tied for the team lead with six. Uh, just talk a little bit about your uh, contribution so far this season. Uh, I mean, I don't really know. It's just been, it's been great to contribute. You know, you always every year in the summers you train hard, and it's just it's something you always want to do. You want to be that guy that can that can score a big goal or can help out the team any way possible. And I just it, I've been fortunate enough to this year I've been getting some breaks and been playing with some great people that have helped me help me uh, put the puck in that. And it's it's something that I'm really excited about and something I definitely want to continue throughout the season help the team out. Well, Kyle, what are you doing differently? Because I mean, you, you, you haven't been in every game this year under head coach Bob Daniels, and you know you get put back in, and you know you play Friday night, and you tally two goals for the Bulldogs. I mean, what do you do differently in situations like that? Um, you know what? It, when, you, when you get taken out of the lineup, you, you, it, gets, uh, it gives you a chance to kind of sit back and try and figure out, you know, what, you know, what didn't I do wrong? What am I not doing that's, or what am I doing that's not helping the team? And I guess you simplify your game, and I mean that's just the biggest thing. You, you all of a sudden you don't worry about points. You don't start chasing points, and because when you start chasing points, that's when they they run from you. So I mean, you simplify your game. You worry about the defensive end first, and then it just seems that offense it just it, it comes with that. It comes with a simplified game. You just you get pucks on net. You get pucks out of your own end, and you know sometimes you're lucky enough that they go in. The Bulldogs coming in this week in series now. Fair State ranked 19th. Michigan ranks 7th. Inside the CCHA standings, the Bulldogs 3rd. 
Michigan Wolverines second place. You got national TV at Yost on Friday, television at home on Saturday, most likely back-to-back sold-out crowds. Talk about how this is basically the top, the best as it gets in Division One level. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's everything you said. I mean, it's, it's Michigan Fair State right now, 2-3 in the conference. We're trying to make a push to uh, get us high up. We're trying to make a push to win the CCHA, and obviously that's what they're trying to do. And the second half of the season, all these games are so crucial. And, I mean, especially going into an environment like Yost, the team's going to have to be at our best. And hopefully, you know, this week of practice has been going well so far. I think the guys are ready for it. We're just going to have to mentally prepare for the environment. We're going to have to prepare for the highs and the lows and realize that this weekend isn't going to be a smooth sailing to six points. It's going to be it's going to be tough. I mean, Michigan's good every year. They play us tough. So, I mean, we're just going to have to find it, find a way to get six points and move on. Thanks, Kyle, and best of luck this weekend. Luck, Kyle. Thank you. Looking at this Michigan Wolverine team, they're led up front by Carl Hagelin, the New York Rangers draft pick, senior forward. He comes into this game with 27 points, 12 goals, 15 helpers on here. They're just they're just front load. Yeah, Hagelin, Louis Caprusel, not to mention the great defenseman John Merrill, standout for the U.S. World Junior Team over the Christmas break, as well as his teammate and also Team USA teammate Chris Brown. He had a heck of a World Juniors as well. They just have. A lot of talent on this Wolverine squad. Let's take a closer look at the conference standings. You talk about Michigan being second place inside the CCHA. Fair State right up on them. Only points behind third place in the CCHA right now. Going top to bottom, the top five. First place, we have Notre Dame. Second place, we have the Michigan Wolverines. Third place, we have your Ferris State Bulldogs. Fourth place, Miami Redhawks. We all know that name. And, of course, fifth place, Alaska, wrapping up the top five at 24 points throughout the conference so far. You look at the national rankings. This is why this series is so important. The Michigan Wolverines are ranked seventh nationally right now compared to the Bulldogs being ranked 19th. So you have a battle between the second-place Wolverines and the third-place Fair State Bulldogs in the CCHA, and you continue that b battle even further into the national rankings with the seventh place Michigan Wolverines and a 19th place Fair State Bulldogs. This series is going to be pretty important. Yeah, very important. You know what else that tells me, those CCHA rankings? Michigan, we have to play Michigan. Notre Dame comes to Big Rapids later in the year. So if you want to be on top of the CCHA, you got to beat those teams, and we got a great opportunity to do just that. All right, well, wrapping things up here from the Alva Glavin Ice Arena, the Bulldog hockey team does play their final regular season home-and-home -home series against the University of Michigan Wolverines this Friday and Saturday. The first game will be played on Friday night in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and a game televised nationally on CBS College Sports at 7.30 p.m. Puck will drop for the second game in Big Rapids, Michigan at 7 o'clock on Saturday night in a game televised on Comcast Television. If you cannot make it to the game, you can catch all the action live on the radio on 14.60 a.m. and 107.7 FM WBRN with Dan and I on the call. And, of course, you could always listen online at FairStateBulldogs.com.